Hey everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here, and I am looking at Sunflower Row. Now, last year, the sunflowers on this end, which is, uh, depending on where you stand, um, the right-hand side, they're already larger than these over here. And keep in mind, these over here were here the whole time. Nothing ate these except for that one. I have several that were eaten over here and so they've been restarted a couple times and Sunflower Road just keeps growing on this side. I really do believe that it's because during the day these are shaded I think when the sun goes over the trees around noon and these are still able to get a little bit of it and pretty soon they're going to shade the other side. So I've already had to start stringing up um, a makeshift trellis just like I did the last time until these sunflowers are able to take care of themselves uh, until their stems get tall enough. So that takes a little bit of effort to keep tying these up. These, um, I don't know, they're about um, $2. These little stakes that have the, the little uh, corners on them where you can tie them up, they're actually meant to uh, put up like chicken wire or you know makeshift um, cattle pen or whatever but uh, I've been using them for trellising and they seem to work really well I still need to uh, move some of this grass that should be easy to pull up it's pretty shallow um, I widened the path I still haven't picked up the mulch bags yet they've just been open and sitting there um, I know that there's probably no weeds growing underneath them now and I can probably take the bags. So if you remember, I planted these sunflowers where I was planting um, kale and um, collard greens. And the kale and collard greens just refused to come up. Well now that the sunflowers are here, guess what's starting to pop out? Look at that. And they're popping up all over the place now. I think they're jealous. These sunflowers are in the peas and um, squash bed, which I haven't looked at my squash in a while. I might need to to see what else is coming up. Oh goodness, there's a big one over there. There's a big one over there. You see him? He's about the size of the other ones. And um, I'm not dressed to pick stuff. I'm actually dressed to um, go to church in a little bit. So I'm not going to be picking um, stuff in the dirt <laughs> in my church clothes. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, the sunflowers are starting to become a trellis for the peas. As you can see, these peas are starting to latch on, kind of like I hoped they would. Uh, see a few critters I don't like seeing on the sunflowers but I'm not treating these right now with hardly anything because I'm hoping that the bees are gonna love being out here look at that they're starting to form their heads and these are the dwarf sunflowers and they're about two feet shorter than I am so I'll likely be able to harvest these um, without having to <laughs> get a ladder. Thanks for looking at the sunflowers with me and hope to see you next time.